that is open and re and re responsive to the needs of the community and the works for the benefits of all and develop and ensure the highest quality of life for our residents. And so that's why I'm here today too, to be a voice for my ward, ward two. And thank y'all again for electing me. That's all I have, Mayor. Back to you. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Mr. Rowe, why yes, I think it's up. <laughs> <laughs> Talk to me, Mr. Rowe. Okay. You know, it's a pleasure to be here. Uh, yes, I've seen so many things that have changed and so much that happened. As I took this walk a few years ago, I've been in politics for the last 60 years. And uh, I've witnessed some changes. You know, when I first came on the council, you know, some years ago, we used to have what they call we used to go to industrial trade up in Atlanta, and I, and I really didn't care up my height. But in order to get some jobs down here in Douglas for the people to work, I went up 27 stories high in that building, you know, to uh, talk with the industrial trade. Uh, we don't do that no more. We, we've made our way in America, we've made our mark, and we got big headed too quick. And I'm scared that we're going to bring ourselves back down to earth. I was listening to that city manager moment ago and he said that we got this miracle field playground going on. Our congressman <coughs> had been there about three times and now he can't come again. You know what he a bad time. He got a woman running against him. You know, women trouble is bad trouble. I'm telling you. And uh he missed him. Oh, you know, when you got woman trouble, you got a problem, right there. <laughs> yeah, my Lord. Yeah. Uh, my Lord. Never have women uh, take problem. the camera off of me. My uh, Lord. I, I am seriously saying that we need everybody put their shoulder to the wheel to keep us turning. We got to keep turning. We've had our day, and, and there's so many of those kids, kids in those houses that I really feel for when they have the Kayla Day. That they have nowhere to go after Kayla Day. We're yes, back sir. in those house. We're going to open up a new world. We that can walk. You know they talk about us too. The people in the wheelchair talk about us. and look at them, a good walking devil. You know, and then we talk about the people in the wheelchair. But now we're going to help those people. We're going to reach back and we're going to make sure there's nobody left behind. And I pray and trust that we all put our shoulders to the wheel. And get ready with the thirties. We're gonna move after the thirty. We're gonna shake and bake. And you see the turtle this time on the fence, folks. We're gonna put him down. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking for the people to help us get him down. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Mr. Moore. Well, I think it's about all said and done. I don't know if Tay Tay got through talking. Here you go. I'm gonna take up the offering. Take, take up the offering. Here you go. <laughs> I'll be waiting. I'm not going to give it to you. I'm going to wait on You said it. But anyhow, we thank everybody for what they do and uh, the work that they do and for them being able to live in this country. And uh, Mr. Lovin <coughs> said some gave some, some gave all. That's right. And uh, it's for those who gave it. We can have the freedom to say and do what we please, and we thank you for the people of the city of Douglas, and uh, just try to keep people to keep things picked up, cleaned up, and kept up. Thank you. Outstanding, Mayor Pro Tem. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, first, I'd just like to uh, welcome Pastor and First Lady Wilkie uh, of Gaines Chapel AME Church to our community. Um, I'd like to secondly uh, ask everyone to keep our employees and all families who have experienced a recent loss in their families uh, lately. Uh, Human Resource Assistant Ms. Tammy Wickerson, uh, Officer Raymond Harper, and, and any others that I might not know about. A very close friend of mine, uh, Gladys Mitchell family. Ms. Gladys has been a matriarch in this community for quite a while. I grew up with her children, uh, we grew up together. So we just want to keep all the families in prayer who uh, lost some loved ones. Also, I'd like to 
give my appreciation to Mr. Lovin, Miss Artis, uh, Miss Dockery, who was also here. And also, I thought I saw Mr. Blampede here earlier tonight. I'd like to thank him and Miss Relaford. I'd like to thank all of these people, these individuals, for their services that they provide to our community to make it a better place. Um, lastly, I have a couple of announcements that I was asked to announce. Well, one I wasn't asked to announce, one I'm, I'm announcing. To those of you who, uh, Mr. Wilkerson, if you can get a copy of the flyers for me. Those of you who will be available, uh, there's a gospel scene, a fundraiser for the Douglas Four. Douglas Four, myself, Charlie Matt Wooten, uh, Evelyn Griffiths, Griffin, and Curtis Hicks. We are asking that you all come out this Saturday at uh, 6 o'clock p.m. at Shiloh Missionary Baptist Church for a gospel scene fundraiser. Please come. Uh, I believe uh, one of our participants will be uh, none other than Minister Contaywin Duran is going to run the selection. So you all miss a treat if you if you don't make it. Make sure you come, man. Oh, you gonna sing too? The man, I, I put you. I put you. The put man it. gonna sing too. Oh, no, 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 no. You gonna sing? No, no. you can. Don't put him you down. Let that man sing. You've been talking about singing. Don't put him down. Okay. Please don't, don't think about it. Don't put him down. I want to see what he can do. No, I want to see what he can do. <laughs> don't you scare the people. <laughs> don't scare Did you enjoy that, Mr. Jake? <laughs> I don't enjoy it. Don't you scare the people. I love it. But now, you, hey, you want to sing it, Tay Tay? Now down. you get an opportunity. He won't. The, the last the last announcement that I have, Mary, uh, you, you can think about it. Practice your song. I'll let you sing. Last. Don't put it. Don't put it. Last. Last. Okay. On um, August the 28th, from 3 to 5, uh, Southern Rural Black Women's Initiative for Economic and Social Justice will be having planning strategies for 2016 elections. Uh, this is for Douglas Coffee County community. Uh, and everyone is invited. That's just the name of it. It does not mean that you cannot attend if you're not black. Uh, it is regarding education, Medicaid expansion, civic engagement, voting rights, and economic op opportunity. And their, their quote is, change will not come if we wait for some other person or some other time. We are the ones we've been waiting for. We are the change that we see. Those are the words of President, President Obama. Barack Obama. Yes, so if you, if you have time on that day, August the 28th, come out to the Gladys Coley Center for a community meeting. It's uh, about enrichment, empowerment, moving forward. And also this same group on uh, September the 10th, so Miss Georgia, I won't be here for September the 10th, but I will be here September the 9th to participate. But on September the 10th, this group is sponsoring a, a bus to Atlanta, to the state capitol, to meet with uh, state representatives and state senators, any issues, concerns. We're going to be able to take up to 25 people on the bus. Uh, the members who are, who are members will, you know, get first choice. But if there's room allowing, anybody else who would like to take a trip to the state capitol, they're going to furnish your food. You you are welcome to attend. That's all I have, Mary. Thank you. Oh, lastly, lastly, our widening project, because I live over that way. So I just want to say to our citizens, please be patient with us. I'm excited to have been a part, to, to, to play a part, to help get that done. I believe that's going to be a great asset for our community. So citizens, please be safe and be patient uh, while you're traveling that route. Thank you. That's it. That's it. Okay. <laughs> All right, good evening. Good evening. Uh, good evening. Uh, basically, uh, I want to give some kudos to uh, our city manager over there. He's always working hard long hours making sure that the city is running the day-to-day -day operations and um, I was uh, out of town doing some training and he was on his way to Atlanta and the assistant city manager was watching his son graduate from basic training he was over there it was Missouri yeah. in Missouri crying you know so all type of things going on in our community development director Dale is just running all over the place so uh, it just goes to show that's a, a test for your leadership uh, true test of leadership is the absence of leadership you know what I mean it's a good deal good deal also our city attorney he sits over there reads fast but yes. he keeps us straight Keeps us up under the umbrella of the law. Sometimes we try to get wet, and he drags us back in there. So 
We appreciate that. Really do. Uh, the next thing is, and, you know, just November be here before you know it. And it's Thanksgiving. It's Thanksgiving. There are a number of uh, organizations that uh, provide meals and boxes uh, to the less fortunate. I know Pastor Don Jones uh, does a huge event. I think uh, I think last year she said that there was about 2,000 individuals that she provided food for. Oh, was it Thanksgiving Day? The Sunday before. The Sunday before Thanksgiving. So there is a need. Uh, and where there's a need, there's also a need for volunteerism. So if you can spare a few hours a week, uh, come down and, and see if there's some, some committees or go talk to Pastor Jones or just volunteer your time. Because believe it or not, we're the governing body, but it takes uh, the entire city to keep us moving forward. The next thing is, is Christmas coming up. So, yes. pastors, ministers, evangelists, the Christmas parade is a big deal. Ooh. It's a big deal. So, you need to go ahead and start planning that float. Don't start out big. Now, don't go get a 20-foot flatbed. Start out small because it will get expensive. You need to start because... For this to be the Christmas parade, there are more businesses in the Christmas parade than there are churches in the Christmas parade. Let us remember the true meaning of Christmas. It's not about businesses, and we appreciate the businesses doing that. But we need the churches to start working on their floats. Get you a float committee. Get a four-wheel drive or a truck or something. And let's get this thing started. We start planning ahead. And I want a big Christmas. I want to come through, run around, and I want to watch. I want to watch. I want. I think all the churches should get involved. That will be a great project for your youth director or choir director. Uh, so we can start planning early. My next thing is, Dr. Martin King Day is the same time all the time. Down there at the Civic Center. Uh, correction, the Martin Theater, uh, as uh, <coughs> Commissioner McNeil said, it's been fully renovated, new lights, new sound system, just a beautiful facility. Uh, I would also encourage the churches to start preparing early uh, to be performers down there. I think that we need to pike that out. If uh, the programs are very entertaining and very educational, we also need to uh, Partner with another church. Partner with another church. See where you can come in and assist. And uh, my last comment is this right here. Uh, it's August. And thus far, I've, I've had a very good time uh, sitting up here as the mayor. Appreciate Commissioner Gowan, Commissioner McNeil, Commissioner Dern, sometimes. <laughs> 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 Commissioner Roper. Commissioner Moore and Commissioner Pearson always brings uh, stability to the situation and wisdom and knowledge, and we just try to get it right for the citizens of Douglas. And I, I always say this right here. Uh, it is never important for Tony Polk to be right. It is never important for Mayor Polk to be right. It is detrimentally important for this commission to be right. It is always important for the governing body to get it right. We as individuals are just individuals, but us collectively are the governing body. And I just want to say thank you. I appreciate your hard work. Commissioner Dern, appreciate you during the blackout. Good job. So if there are no other comments, Mayor, I just want to—I want to say one thing, and I think I, 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 somehow this slipped all of our minds, I guess, as we were talking about our community. But I want everybody in our community to be in prayer for those in Louisiana. Yes, yes. Lord. Yes. I think that's Woo. something that we really need to, yes. because as a commission, I can't imagine what those people right. are going through right now. 
mm. as a mother, yeah. as a you know, as yeah. as a family, I just cannot imagine the hardship and the um, the prayers and the support they need. Um, Beta Sigma Phi, the group of ladies that do Passionately Pink, is doing a bucket um, ministry type thing, or um, we're we're going to be doing. Um, buckets that we will fill to be sent out there a lot of communities are doing this so get on board with this if you want more information about it call me get in touch with me um, it'll be cleaning supplies it'll be gloves it'll be alcohol it'll be just anything you know peroxide anything like that the masks and the things that we think they can use in the cleanup efforts we've actually been given a list and the communities you know all across the country